Hello, BGPians, and a very good morning. Welcome to Term 1, Week 2. It's good to see most of you settling in in school after the first week of school. And even as we look back at the past week, it is good to see that the P1s, as well as the P2s to P6, even though you came in on different days, on the 4th of January and the 5th of January, respectively, I think you have more or less 
gotten used to the routine of school life again. Well done and congratulations. It is also good to see that many of you, almost all of you, you have been on time for school. You have been punctual and you have been early. Now, even for those of you who have just who are just streaming in into your classrooms, I urge you to quickly settle down, take your temperature, and get ready and listen. Over the first week, you have also been introduced to your form teachers, your new form teachers, as well as your new subject teachers. Please learn to remember all their names so that when you greet them, you will know how to greet them properly. Say, good morning, Mr. So-and-so, or good morning, Mr. So-and-so. I'm also pleased to see that many of you, you have been exchanging greetings with your teachers, as well as with myself and the vice principals, and I see you along the corridor. This is very important and is aligned with our school value of respect. Talking about school values, I mentioned the five school values last week when I first addressed you on the first day of school. Integrity, respect, responsibility, resilience, and compassion. And as I said, respect is very important and we must always learn to say good morning to one another. And when you see me, remember to also say good morning, Mr. Yong, and bow. Same as what I would expect you to do with your teachers. Now, I shared last week also that our school vision is empowered learners, persons of strength and character. When you talk about empowered learners, really we talk about taking ownership of your actions. And this morning, I have a very, very short story to share with you. And it's taken from a book entitled 101 Aesop Fables. Are you ready for the story? The title of this story is entitled The Silly Ass. Or rather, it is also an ass is actually a donkey. So I will call him the silly donkey. I shall begin the story now. Now, the farmer's donkey was hitched to a cart when he went to the market. A cart is where it is like a little uh, truck or a lorry, but it is hitched to the donkey. The donkey was very fond of his master, the farmer, and served the farmer with great dedication. One day, the donkey saw that a monkey had jumped on the roof of the farmer's house. The farmer watched the antics of the monkey and laughed at it heartily. Ha, 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 ha. So funny, this monkey jumping on the roof of my house. Now, the donkey, when he saw that, thought to himself, Whoa, how happy my master, the farmer, looks. I think that I too will make my master, the farmer, laugh like this. So one day, the donkey scrambled over a hay rick. He scrambled over the hay and he started messing about with the hay and he climbed onto the hay and he reached the top of the roof. He was hoping to do like what the monkey did by jumping on the roof so as to make the farmer laugh. But the donkey was very heavy and clumsy and the tiles began to slip and crash to the ground. So all the tiles started crashing to the ground and the roof came tumbling down. The farmer came running very quickly as he came out of his house and shouted to the donkey, Come down, you silly donkey. You are not a monkey who can jump on the roof. 
You are a fine cut donkey. And that is your job. And that is enough. I will love you all the same, said the farmer. The donkey slipped down and realized that the farmer really loved him even if he didn't climb roofs. So this is a picture of how the donkey looked like as he was climbing up the roof and all the tiles of the roof came tumbling down. So that's the end of the story. And what is the moral of the story, you may ask? Now, when the donkey tried to climb on the roof, his main purpose was to make his master happy and to make his master laugh. But he didn't realize that actually it was not his natural strength to climb onto the roof, unlike the monkey. So the monkey was able to do it himself. But the donkey's main job was not to climb on the roof and make people laugh. What was the main job of the donkey? It was actually to carry or to pull the cart. And that was what he was very, very good at. How is this aligned with our school vision of empowered learners. If you think about it, it is really about taking responsibility for one's own actions. If the donkey's main duty is to be a donkey, to be able to pull the, the carts very well, then he should take responsibility for that and not to do something that is not actually part of his responsibility. Or worse still, to climb up onto the roof thinking that he could make his master laugh, but actually he damaged the roof and caused all the tiles to come tumbling down. This is also exactly the same as our school's value of responsibility, which is the value of focus for the month of January. As a student, what is your responsibility? You have all started the year well. You have all started the year right. And it's important to know what exactly is your duty as a student. We have shared many of the safety instructions last week that when you come to school, you must also take responsibility for your own personal health and safety. Make sure that you bring your token. For example, you trace together token everywhere that you go in case there is a need for contact tracing. Make sure to take responsibility that if you are not well, you do not come to school and you rest and see a doctor and make sure that you get well before coming back to school. As a student, you must not be late for school. You must come to school on time. And when we say on time, we encourage you to come at 7.15. The latest time for you to reach school is 7.30. And we must remember to bring all your school books. Remember to bring your exercise books according to your timetable. By now, you need to be familiar with your timetable and you need to be familiar with your subject teachers. And you need to make sure that you have your student handbook every day. Now, in your student handbook, there are many things for you to write, to remind yourself for the activities or the tasks for the week. Every day, your teachers will remind you to indicate okay, the work or the homework that you need to do. And if you look at the pages for each of the week, we have introduced something new at the top of each page for the week. And there is a little quote for that week. I'm now going to read to you the quote for last week as well as the quote for this week. It is on page 55 if you have your student handbook with you. I'm going to turn to page 55 now. And if you have your handbook, you can also refer to it. And last week's quote was by Stephen Covey, the author of Seven Habits and the Leader in Me. And he says this, 
The key is taking responsibility and initiative, deciding what your life is about and prioritizing your life around the most important things. That's exactly what we talk about when we say put first things first. You have to take responsibility. And also for this week on page 57, the quote is by Winston Churchill. If you remember Winston Churchill, he was the Prime Minister of England during the World War II. And we have one of his quotes as well in our school. Try to find out where is it. Okay. And he says that the price of greatness is responsibility. Therefore, you need to take responsibility for your own learning, for your own actions, to be proactive and to take initiative. And that is what I want to encourage every BGPN to start for this year. I wish you a very good term one, week two ahead. And remember to take responsibility for yourself and learn to be a better person together with your friends for your teachers for BGPS. Thank you and have a nice day and a good week ahead.